You know what it is, talking Switch cutscene overviews. I really hate this D chick, I kinda hope she dies like the character from 2K16 did. My agent comes over and tells me I got a contract with the Indiana Pacers, so you know what that means. It's time for alcohol and bad decisions. Remember, this is a new kind of my player. So we started off with $5,007 in our bank account, but after signing that contract, we got a $10,000 signing bonus, putting us at $15,007. That's like 25,000 candy bars worth of money. And what that also means is you can comment down below how you want me to blow this money. Remember, I can go to the strip club. I can buy a new car. I can buy a new house. You come up with anything and I'll figure out a way to put it in the video. Let's get to action. Let's get to the gameplay. Let's get to the NBA. But first, more cringy 2K cutscenes. Apparently I live about a block away from the practice facility. That's oddly convenient. My agent has the strength of Hulk when he gives me nux. Gonna have to consider firing him. But nonetheless, I enter the arena. And I get greeted by this PR lady who's pretty thick. I have to hide my raging boner as this intern gives me some business card. I finally figure out who this Wells guy is, and apparently he is some generated 2K player. He's gonna take me under his wing, blah blah, some veteran bullshit, who cares. The trend of this team being weird as hell continues. We got coaches that do raging bull charges at you and then players doing these weird crab walks. I don't know, but I'll probably fit right in. And that was a hard day's work, so I'll exit the arena. Oh, Jesus Christ. Apparently, I'm just a part of a massive glob of moving feces. Everybody's got their brown shirts on. It looks pretty depressing. Guess I'll go ahead and explore the neighborhood. While I'm exploring... I'd like to say, make sure to comment down below on this video with how you think we should spend our hard-earned money. Let's check my messages. Okay, I have no friends. Alright, that's good. <laughs> that's a good start in my NBA career. No friends online. Good. Now, because I pre-ordered, I did get some VC, so I'm going to upgrade my guy. We got him to about a 63 overall, so at this rate, I'll be 99 in about four years. Alright, I got my steroid pump. The hardest part about this is getting on this little blue mat. Apparently you have to go to this blue mat in order to get on any of the benches. But I'm about to get schwole. Let's get fucking jacked! Yeah. Okay, I fucked that one up. <laughs> okay, I guess you have to put the left stick and the right stick down at the same time. Clearly that gives you bigger biceps if you have coordination on your left and right side. Alright, I did that one right. Okay, let's see if I can get this one right. This is actually like extremely difficult. I don't think this is how a difficult bench press is. What am I benching that? Like, like 200 pounds? Woo, that's a good day's work. I definitely set the record for bench press there. Ah, uh, this must be the station where I practice my Indiana Jones whip. Looks like this builds that wrist strength, maybe that forearm strength. But I get plenty of wrist action in other ways, you know what I'm saying, fellas? I feel like this would look really funny if I sped it up. Some one-on-one -on -one practice action against Corey Joseph. I took this dude to town in my tryout, so I'm taking him to town again. That dreamlike up and under. Okay, I missed it, but I got the rebound and I made it, okay? Get off my ass. 8-8. Eight to eight. Corey Joseph has the ball. I'm about to play some stellar defense. Just kidding. I just let him. I just gave him the right side completely. Shit. All right, enough daily dallying. First game against the Nets. Really couldn't have picked a better team to make my debut. Yes, they brought Rachel back. Time to do some wrist workouts. I don't know who this guy is. I don't... Shammy Wells, Schmurda Wells. I don't know, but I don't trust him. Something's fishy about this dude. I'm calling it now. Ooh, here we go. Deep breaths, deep breaths. I took my pregame shit. I got all my jitters out. I am ready to play a maximum of two and a half minutes. I'm ready. Oh, okay. We got a nice little hype track. Get us excited for the game. Or to give us a seizure. I'm not really sure. Look at all these flashing. Ooh. That was supposed to be me having a seizure. Seizures aren't funny. Okay? Seizures aren't funny. You know what is funny? The beating I'm about to put on this team. Specifically, their 12th man. Because that's the only action I'm going to get. Alright, let's get to it. Enough of my terrible jokes. And here we are. Pacers versus Nets. Season opener. And the tip-off is here. And I'm going to skip to when I come in the game. Nobody actually cares about how their team does. Let's be honest with each other here. You only care about your individual stats. Here we go. The first time I've ever dribbled on an NBA floor. Sammy Swisher going for the layup. Saucing him already and I get fouled. Okay, this is probably the only time I'll ever have a chance to score. When there's a guarantee that there will never be defense on me. And there it is. My first NBA points coming from the free throw line. It's probably the only time I'll ever be able to score. Let's see if I can hit the second one. 
This would be an absolute miracle. And miracles don't exist. That's why I missed it. I'm crushing all your hopes and dreams. All right, clock's winding down. Let's get a little pick and roll action. Get somebody open. I see him in the corner. Miles Turner for three. He can shoot it. Nothing. All right, give me the ball. Buzzer beater. Here we go. Make a name. Nothing. End of the first quarter. We are losing to the Nets. This is so sad. Well, before the game, we had a moment to sit down with DJ, and we asked him about playing in his first NBA game. Yeah, you know, it's it's pretty crazy. I, I wanted to be a DJ and pursue that passion. I just wanted to be on stage, having girls show me their titties, hooking up with random women after every show, but then, you know, you know, really put things into perspective for me. I just wanted to chase my love for balls and putting balls in holes, so that's why I came back to the NBA. And that's why I'm pursuing this dream. But it's, it's, it's really crazy. You know, I, I couldn't ask for anything different at this point. Pick and roll's not, not really working that well for me. Miles Turner in the corner. 4-3. Bang. So nice having a big that can shoot. Honestly, I've played a little more than I thought I would in my first NBA game. So that's not bad. Garden Jeremy Lin. Pretty good defense. And I fouled him. Okay. And coach is deciding to take me out. End of the third quarter. We have one point, one rebound, and three assists. You know, that's not bad for, like, the three minutes of gameplay we've had. You know, multiply that by, what's that, like, 16 for a full 48 minutes. That's 16 points, 16 rebounds, and 48 assists. So that's my stat line per 48 minutes. I guess Coach wants to see what I can do in these last 1.6 seconds. Well, I'm about to show him nothing. Well, I would have blocked it, though, if D'Angelo Russell would have shot it, but he didn't. Nonetheless, a pretty solid game, 1-1-3. One, one, and three. In my NBA debut, it's no LeBron debut, but still respectable. Cutscenes, yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently this guy, his name is Boo Boo, I think. He doesn't want to give me daps because he doesn't respect the rookie, but he's a security guard and I'm yet NBA player. I don't know, doesn't make sense to me. We have a message, our very first ever message on our new phone. Who's it from? Somebody important. Oh, Brian. Essentially, Brian's saying he might have an endorsement deal for me. All I'm hearing is money. I got my first post-game interview with some shitty AM radio station asking me some shitty questions. Mrs. Thick PR lady apparently doesn't like the way I'm answering the questions. That's okay. She can still get the pipe, though. And now I'm back with my fellow brown shirt feces. That's it for this episode. We have made our NBA debut for the Indiana Pacers. Remember, we have $15,000 in our bank account, so comment down below with what we should spend it on. All they're getting paid for, and he messed, and now they're coming on the court and ruining my whole tryout experience.